Mr. Beast Drop, this video is titled, Protect the Lamborghini, Keep It. Sitting on these train tracks is a quarter million dollar Lamborghini. And curling down on it right now is a- Yo, this found a train somehow, like an operating train and painted it. Where do you find trains at? A massive train. But before the impact, I'm giving this Lamborghini to Blake. Thank you. And on top of sending the train, I'm also gonna have these eight soldiers <laughs> shoot 10,000 bullets at your Lamborghini. That's the scariest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. And you have exactly 24 hours to build whatever you want to protect your Lamborghini from the bullets. The timer starts now. Okay, first line of defense, I'm thinking a wall of cinder blocks. After that, some shipping containers. Bro, this feels like when you played them, back in the day, you played them tower defense games and monkey tower defense games. <laughs> Filled with refrigerators. <laughs> and then basically just a wall of cars to block those bullets. Do you think all of this is enough to stop 10,000 bullets? I think it is, Jimmy. Okay, but so far nothing's there. You should get Bro, the building. Getting, Blake immediately drove to three trucks. stores where I gave him my credit card and he literally spent $78,000 on supplies. No, no cap, actually. If we use our brain cells, would you not just get some door panels for cyber trucks and then line it around the car? Since basically you need a 50 caliber bullet to pierce through it. So we watched the video of the nigga shooting through cyber trucks yesterday. Plus, and since I don't want to bore you with all that, let's just skip to the part when everything was delivered. It's first round of supplies are starting to show up. Oh my god, I can't believe I bought all this stuff and this isn't even everything. Protected man. with 7,000 lambs. Some of his jump cars <laughs> came in. He's got a Connex crate over here. How did he get this much stuff? This is crazy. Don't worry about the guys with the machine guns. Just pretend they're not there. Yeah. I don't even know what they're doing there, honestly. We're five hours in, and this storage container is about to be the first line of defense against 10,000 bullets. All right, that's probably good. That's probably good. Yeah, he's close. Do you think that shipping container is going to stop any bullets? Absolutely not. So as of now, he's screwed. Yeah, he's not looking good for him. Oh, gosh. It's been about six hours. Are you happy with your progress? I'm very happy. You sure? It wasn't until this thing got down, but now that it's down, dude, I feel really good. I asked him if this would stop the bullets. And they said no. And once Blake realized he had to go all out, he worked not only through the night. This way, Mr. Railroad ties. Nice, nice, yes. Really nice, really nice. But even into the next morning, upgrading his defense. Dude, he's stuffing the storage container with a van and a giant tube. And once I saw it. Okay, that's not really like a van is not gonna do nothing though. The tube, I don't know about the Put tube. together, I was honestly pretty impressed. Run me through what you built. So I built a whole bunch of concrete in the front. And the tallest part of the wall is right in the center to block the crow's nest machine guns because those things are big and scary. I got all my storage containers and a bunch of water. And if you come right over here, you will see his Lamborghini tucked away amongst everything. There it is, nice and cozy. Do you think all of this will stop the bullets? Yeah, I do. I think you have a 50% chance of survival. That's the best odds I've had yet, so. And before I have them <laughs> shoot 10,000 rounds, come with what me to the Lamborghini. What is the modern warfare Not only for this Lamborghini, but for 100 grand as well. What? Yes, sir. Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? This will be enough to cover the insurance. <laughs> 24 hours is up, eight scary men, 10,000 bullets. Versus everything that Blake has built. Are you ready? Just get it over with, freaking out. <laughs> We're locked and loaded, ready to fire on you, Jimmy. Sir, fire at will. Roger that. Stand by! Fire! Oh! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, they are unloading on his fortress. Oh, my God, make them stop. Make them stop. Uh, I wish someone would. Never mind. Through the center box, I'm sorry. I had, a, I had a weird thought. Oh, man. Yo, bro, they need to do Bro, I wish they ended it with, like, 150 cal bullets. Those bullets aren't making it through, my nigga. Oh, God. Yo, Big Cozy, Yo, thank you for the five gifts and subs. Yo, you give me. And what we haven't told Blake is these guns are only the first of four phases we've designed to destroy this Lamborghini. Or should I say, whatever remains after this. They just brought out the LMG. Does that nigga have a noob tube? No. Yo! Oh, this is melting! No! Cinder are falling! Ah. All it takes is one bullet to penetrate, and it's going in his Lambo! Oh my uh -oh. god! Uh oh! Uh oh! These are the last bullets? This is what I think is gonna happen when I reach for my license at a traffic stop. <laughs> 
And if you don't already know who Blake is, he's actually a contestant from two previous videos. But today he's back for a third and final attempt. Wait, this is the guy who lost the last challenge? Where he set his own thing on fire because he used wood? Damn, I'm not gonna lie. Like, God favors him because, like, he's getting three chances, bruh. Wow, didn't even, I didn't recognize him neither. Him to win the grand prize. Are you ready for phase two? Yes. See that giant crane coming? That big yellow oil rig looking thing? That is phase two. That crane is going to lift your car up 100 feet and then in 24 hours drop it and you have to catch it without it being destroyed. Seriously? Yeah. All right, bring it over here. And while we prepare the world's first 100 foot Lamborghini free fall, there goes your Lamborghini, Blake. Blake began to strategize on how he was going to catch it. I have no idea what I'm going to do. Chandler, <laughs> I'm here. How you would you break it? You got to use you the net. All the pillows in the city. Okay. Step two, get all the mattresses. Next, get a blanket. Chandler, you're just making a giant bed. Then a warm glass of milk. <laughs> all right, stop. You're not helping. Blake, work your magic. <laughs> I'm screwed. All right, guys, I got some good news and bad news. We passed day one with flying colors. The bad news is uh, the Lamborghini. Lamborghini is airborne, okay? So, anyone got any ideas? I mean, uh, you got, you know I mean, like, what do we think? The bouncy castles? Bouncy castles, that, that's actually not that bad, just because that's not bad at all, really. And after being inspired by the construction worker's wisdom, Blake had decided on his master plan. I would like to move the connexes and like- Bro, it took him four hours to come up with a plan? He might be fried. A square right here with the X in the middle, and that way I can just fill the square up with a bunch of air mattresses, pillows, bubble wrap, and I'll top it all off with a bunch of bouncy castles. Just, you know, the biggest problem right now is I have no materials. Everything that I bought is hard concrete or metal, and nothing that I bought I can use for day two, so I have absolutely nothing. And so Blake sent his crew to buy every pillow and air mattress in the... He thinks the springs in a mattress are going to cushion the fall of a hurricane. <laughs> this has to be one of the most ridiculous plans. I don't know what the alternative could be, to be fair. Like, I, don't, I can't think of a better idea, but Lord, does this feel like a bad one. <laughs> Going to Target to see if pillows can catch a Lambo is pretty fucking insane. The city. And even though he was incredibly sleep deprived, he got to work. I'm already at the stage where it's like, wait, why am I doing this again? Oh yeah, that's right. I'm in a challenge for a Lamborghini that's floating in the sky right now. By the time his materials had arrived, Blake had been awake for over 24 hours. Well, he was in desperate need of sleep. I'm gonna try to get some pop. sleep because I'm exhausted and it's four in the morning. And with how exhausted Blake was, he ended up sleeping for way longer than he planned. So the nigga planned for four hours, slept for six hours, 10 hours of the 24 gone, and in the other eight hours or whatever, yeah, he's fucked. He's fucked. Look at this. Look at this. This is poverty. Blake! A nigga in the chat said Duke will is catch it. Serious? What is this? <laughs> he got mattresses? I want to ban you so bad. But he's missing the warm milk. <laughs> yeah, that's the key to everything. Where is Blake? He's asleep, I heard. No, he's not. Yeah. By the time Blake got on site, it was already super late in the day. That's Blake's truck pulling up. All right, we need to get to work, come on. All right, let's just see what this looks like. Ooh, that bouncy house works as a big box. So I'm thinking maybe we put that thing in the middle now and then we start blowing it up. Only four and a half hours remain and it's not looking good for Blake. I don't think he has more than a 10% chance of catching that Lamborghini. And even if he does, there's no shot he's stopping that train later on. Start filling up the side so that way it's high over here takes away this wall. So with only a couple of hours remaining, Blake did all that he could by filling the rest of his pit with cardboard boxes and bubble wrap. It's coming down to the wire. Chandler, how much time is left? One hour. Blake is screwed. I have a little bit of bubble wrap left. I think I'm just gonna get raised on this thing and just wrap my baby up in this bubble wrap and I'm good to go. That's definitely gonna help. Blake spent what little time he had remaining on this crane, failing <laughs> at- This plan is actually starting to piss me off. No cap, he's actually genuinely starting to piss me off, chat. He's gonna bubble wrap a vehicle right now? Trying to bubble wrap his car. It's just not gonna work. You know what time it is? What? Time to drop the car. 
Let's drop this bad boy. The failed bubble wrap makes it look majestic. Like, do you think your Lamborghini will survive? I'm positive, Jimmy. He's more certain than me. <laughs> I'm positive about this one. I bought every air mattress at Walmart. If this won't catch it, I don't know what will. I did everything I can. No, you didn't. You slept for six hours and you planned for four hours, bro. No, you didn't. Niggas just be throwing that word out the best I can. No, you didn't. That's the best. We seen the best you can do in the previous video. You went all out. You are not going all out this video. Here's a few swills bar, Blake. Oh, thank you, Mr. You know, that way, even if you lose the car, at least you have some good chocolate. It's available in Walmart. Be sure to go try our new chocolate bar. I'm so curious what you think. But anyways, you have three bouncy castles, 150 mattresses. How many pillows? 150. 150 pillows and 2,000 cardboard boxes. Will it break the Lamborghini's fall? Yes. Yes. That's two yeses. OK. 24 hours of work, down to this, no pun intended. Three! No way. Two! One! Drop the Lamborghini! No way. No way. No fucking way. Please be okay, please be okay, please be okay, please be okay. All right, he's moving I think it works. straight out the way. There's no way you got that. I think it works. Get these boxes out of the way. Oh. What? We're about to find out how damaged this car is. The lights work. Ooh. The lights work? Yeah, this princess castle might have saved this entire car. <laughs> Moment of truth. You might have been the first person in history to what? catch a Lamborghini. If it turns on. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, it worked. Wow. I can't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> Everything looks good, minus a little crack in the bumper. Which we find out by this official appraiser. This that's, uh, let me guess, that's gonna be $20,000 to fix. This was only going to reduce the price of Blake's Lamborghini by probably 10 grand. Thank you so much. Stop. Stop. Bro, stop. Maybe 10 grand if your best friend who fucking worked for a shop that was owned by Lamborghini. If you go to the Lamborghini dealership, you think they're, they're gonna give you a new bumper, let alone the labor for 10K? Cap! Maybe if your best friend owned Lamborghini. No way! No way! <laughs> Hold on. Lamborghini Huracan uh, front bumper price. Uh, no. So the piece itself is gonna be 4,500. You know, Lamborghini paint is dumb expensive. The paint alone is going to be thousands. This Just off of that alone, it's going to be 10. Then you got the labor, feel me? The only reason I know that is because I get charged a lot for my M, and my M is way cheaper than a fucking Lamborghini. I just know that's going to be 20, bro. You would have to have a best friend that works in the Lamborghini department. Oh my, thanks for the good news. And right, now is the perfect time to mention. Bro, one time I had to replace the headlights in my M4, and it was 4,000. That phase three just for the part. blaming cars. For Blake's next challenge, we're bringing back his biggest nightmare. We have recreated the Flaming Cars challenge that cost Blake everything last time. Wow. Why don't you do it yourself? It's a low blow. Because I'd rather stream. how he's done this before. <laughs> we're going to up the stakes by dropping twice as many cars as last time. I'll see you tomorrow. I got a lot to prove. Redemption day. Blake spent the rest of the night disassembling his defense for phase two. And after a good night of sleep, he was ready to begin his defense. Bro, I think the bouncy house saved it. I'm not gonna lie. Just woke up. We got a lot of work to do today. So I let's get streaming. Started. Here's the day three plan. Oh, I'm gonna cut bastard. the bottom out of a shipping container and I'm gonna drop it right on the I car. Think, I think Next, I'm gonna take two more containers and I'm gonna lean them up, coming to a point right above the car. And most importantly, nothing flammable this time. You, I'm not gonna lie, that's actually such a fucking elite plan this nigga might have cooked bro coming to a point right what's the odds this fails oh what if these two get knocked off though these two could get knocked off above the car and most importantly nothing flammable this time do you think that will deflect the car yes sir oh i thought you were gonna say no <laughs> blake then asked his crew to remove every piece of wood that was in the container because that's what ended his challenge last time he then had them cut out the bottom of the container that would surround the lamborghini the storage container could put a lot of damage completely crush it yeah you can i mean yeah that thing weighs a whole lot <laughs> and with that being done, Blake just needs to lower the container carefully over the Lamborghini without damaging. One scratch could cost him thousands of dollars. You're yes. good, just like that. It is so close to scraping the car. Watch your fingers, we're coming down. Yes! I yes! cannot believe that. 
All right, next we're gonna bring these Yo, containers that is together precision. to form a V. What if the car gets caught in there? Yeah, that's that can't happen, dude. That's why we're putting this pointy thing at the top. Do you think that will actually deflect our car? 100%. Yes. 20 minutes remain, and then we see if that Lamborghini perishes just like his 500 grand. And as usual, Blake utilized every last second. Three, two, one. I'm not quite sure work. what that dirt accomplished. <laughs> Time is up. No. Let's see if, unlike last time, you survive phase three. Redemption. Blake, you lost five hundred thousand dollars from this exact challenge. How are you feeling? I feel pretty confident. I think. Bro, there's no way he didn't go home. Look, bro. When I lost to Nico in the Beta Squad video last time, bro, I I stayed up thinking about it. I was I was being tormented by the loss, dog. Can you imagine if it was $500,000? I would never stop thinking about it. This nigga probably went through every single comment when he went home, and then somebody came up with this genius plan. He's like, if I ever get the opportunity again, I'm going to implement this genius plan. And look, he gets the opportunity. Bro, there's no way he didn't stay up thinking about this shit for months. I just don't believe it. The viewers want to know one thing. Did you put wood inside of there like last time? A little bit. No, I'm just kidding. There's no wood in there. It was one of the <laughs> biggest mistakes I've ever made in my life. Moment <laughs> of truth. Come on Ooh. in. Three shipping containers, a bunch of dirt, He's concrete, gonna win it. a weird gonna be like, pointed roof thing, versus 10 flaming cars. Are you ready? Let's go, dude. Light it on fire. Will Blake be one step closer to going home with a brand new Lamborghini? Filled with $100,000 or be eliminated and go home with nothing. We're about to find out. Three, two, one. Drop it. I'm edging you. I'm edging you right now. You're being edged. You're being edged. You're being edged right now as we speak. I'm sorry. I'm going to get it. Oh. Sorry, one more edge. I just really like edging you. Oh. 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 Oh, you did not I want feel like that's too. exactly what he didn't want to happen. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, the reason why he's fucked is because I think the paint just scratched. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. No. <laughs> you still feeling good? <laughs> not as good. Yeah, this is giving hey. me some flashbacks. Hey, the paint just scratched. All right, ready for the next one? This nigga's gonna have to sell the car. Drop Who it. is gonna afford the repairs on that? Oh my God, the roof looks like it's already buckling. And just in case Blake loses to the flaming cars like last time, I'm gonna take this moment and tell you about this amazing new phone. What you're currently watching on is the new Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. This phone can record slow-mo and 4K. The camera on this is crazy. We're like 200 feet away and it's nighttime and look at how crystal clear it is. <laughs> and go ahead and drop it. A phone that is kind of crazy. To be fair, that's the phone I stream with, so I fuck with that phone too. Oh, oh, that hurt to watch. Hey, you can't it skip also has a, a ton of new features with Galaxy possible. AI, like photo assist. Remember the last challenge when the bumper got cracked on the Lambo? You can just circle it like this, and then all you do is you hit that eraser button, and just like that, the bumper is fixed. Now I have a new car. For the picture you do. Whatever you're ready. This phone also has circle to search with Google, which makes finding information incredibly Yo, easy. Be straight. It would have helped Blake a lot in the last video to he's learn about straight. the flammability of wood and railroad ties. All he needed to do was long press the home button, circle the railroad ties, and ask, is this flammable? As you can see, railroad ties are flammable. He would have learned the answers instantly. Could have just told you. You can do that. I was genuinely impressed by this phone, and I think you will be too. So, go to samsung.com, click the link in the description, or scan this QR code to check it out right now. And let's drop the next car. We dropped car uh, after car. And with each one, we could tell Blake was getting nervous. But we also good, noticed that all of the impacts were starting to damage the crate itself. Ooh. Your crate on the bottom wait, is going. Wait. At this point, the container protecting the Lamborghini was being crushed by the weight and heat of the cars. I thought about this every day since the last time I saw this. And now it's time for the final car! Yes! Fall! Uh, fall! Oh, oh no! Bro, it's gotta be a thousand degrees in there. His car has to be melting now. We got the fire extinguisher. Somehow he's running so fast. Be careful, Mike! I'm coming! He might have did it. How is I it? Think he, I think he did it. It's okay! 
Kids, put the fire out you, before this shit melts. Like that. If one more car. Yo, 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 <laughs> yo. Damn, these containers are strong as fuck. First drop. This crate would have collapsed. You stopped 10,000 bullets. Easy. You caught a car out of <laughs> midair. You've now deflected 10 flaming cars. And now it's time for phase four. Bring on the train. The timer has officially started. I gotta go. Good luck on phase four. Godspeed. What is he even running at? Blake <laughs> knew that the train was going to be the most deadly attack yet. So he wasted no time in getting started. I think the best way to stop a train is to derail it. That's what I've tried to build here. All these railroad ties are tucked snug, and all of these are gonna go under the train, and the train's gonna hit them like that. And if I do that a hundred more times, I don't see the train just blowing past all that. The railroad ties lost me the challenge last video. This time, they'll save me. You just need two inches off the track, and I win. Two inches is a lot, though. My man. And then once I have all this done, I can just put concrete on top. I think that's gonna work, man. I think that's gonna work. Blake worked with his crew throughout the entire night. And when I showed up the next morning, it was obvious that the challenge had taken a toll on him. What's up, Jimbo? What happened to your voice? I'm like dying out here. Yeah, no, I could tell. He sounded like he's dying. Yo, you can't stop that train, my nigga. You have to derail it. That's your only option. As you guys know, he lost $250,000 in this video. He lost half a million dollars in this video. I think Blake is sick and tired of losing. He has an army going super hard. They're currently stacking the cars that we dropped on phase three on the train tracks. But time was still ticking down. And in order to stop this train and take his Lambo home, Blake began adding a lot more objects to the tracks. Like shipping containers, mattresses to cushion the impact. Blake's worked so hard. I'm now on his team. And water tanks. Blake really seems to know what he's doing. Too bad there's only 11 minutes left. At this point, Blake did everything he could to finish his build before time ran out. And it was actually starting to look impressive. I'm not gonna lie. Three, there's no one, way it runs through all that. Two, one. Last line of defense. Time's up, stop, turn it off, turn it off. Time is officially up. Oh my God. From phase one's shipping containers, phase two's mattresses, and even phase three's burning cars, you somehow use all the resources from the previous phases. Let's see if you're driving home in a Lamborghini or if I'm dropping you off at your house. Bring that train on, man, <laughs> bring it on. Before we ram everything, we need to back the train up. We're gonna go really far back, that way w the train can pick up a lot of speed before it hits everything. Sound like a good idea? No, Jimmy, that sounds awful. Be honest, do you think your Lamborghini will survive? God, I hope so, Jimmy. And of course, we had to put the Feastables logo on the train. The new formula is the best chocolate on Earth. Do yourself a favor and go give it a try. But for now, it's time for the biggest moment of Blake's life. Let's see if he wins a Lamborghini. Blake, any last words? Give it all you got. Send the train. Here it comes. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It's going! No it's going to speed up until it hits 35 miles an hour right before impact. Oh, it, it is, is going not running through that skin at 35 right. miles per hour. Here it comes! Let's see if it was over. right now. It's the best tasting chocolate on the planet. Third time's the charm. See you guys later. <laughs> yes! Nah, yo, the sleep he's about to have is gonna be immaculate! Uh, hey, W video, Mr. Beast. Oh, okay. cap. Boy, that sleep is gonna hit with that lamb in the driveway. Yeah. Uh, he's gonna have to use like 30,000 at 100,000 for repairs, bro. But once he does that, he can spend the other 70 on whatever, nigga. That's a down payment for a home right there, man.